I, I really and truly do not understand how I've never done this video. Um, I mean, I've done every single obvious video I did. I think I've, I've gone through, you know, I had two years as a Bradley YouTuber when we get patches every six months. You know, I, I've done everything that's obvious. Other than this, I've not gone over stances ever. So I'm going to go over every single legend and pick the stance that I think is most beneficial. Uh, obviously taking into account like deck specific strings. Um, and then obviously if you have a weapon that just doesn't need any decks, just... 90% of the time, it's going to just be get rid of the deck stance. It's going to be most optimal. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. Um, there's a lot that I have never, I guess, really thought about, like Vrax. Who knows? So we'll get to it. Anyway, before that, once again, I need to thank the GOATs, um, all of these people who, who have joined the channel through membership lately. It's it's ridiculous. I uploaded that video yesterday, uh, like thanking them all. Um, and, and now there's a million more. So as usual, we've got Moro, Daywalker, Underscore, Ty, Controller, Mods, Nitrogen, Drunk Dog, Lapin, Lapin, Lapine, Mark Brandenburg, and uh, Eric Soke, I think is how you say that one. Um, yeah, honestly, thank you all from the black. I really and truly mean it. It means a lot. Um, and also for the people in the comments who are telling me like, oh, I wish I could join, but you know, I'd have to go and commit multiple fucking crimes and, and my mum would have to take out a new mortgage on the house. I don't care, man. I Listen, I do not need your money. Okay, you even being in the comment section is more than enough. And I love all of you. But these are just like the absolute, like, you know, the, the uh, going the one step further. And I really appreciate you all. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get into this. So, Baudvoir. Uh, fuck, this, this is going to be a long video. It's bringing me back to the, the tier list days, which uh, it's, it's been a while since the balance patch. So, yeah, anyway, Baudvoir, um, running speed stance is probably decent. But for the most part, okay, now if you run decks and just to get us out of the way with seven, okay, because people ask me why I run default stance on Azuri, right? Instead of getting rid of decks because you don't really need it. Um, you know, you could run strength stance and kill earlier, which I wish with every fiber in my bin that I could kill earlier on Azuri. But it's because on seven decks on sword, you get D like ground pound and like true. You get a little three piece true combo, which is rare. But on Azuri, it's like having one more attack. I don't really care. Let's say... If speed took off of decks, I'd, I'd run speed stance. But, like, just getting one extra attack, I don't really care for it. I might as well get that situational true combo on sword. Um, so, yeah, uh, on Bodvar, you could do that. But, I mean, personally, I would just get rid of decks. There's, there's nothing that decks does for you. Uh, that's the most optimal. Alternatively, I'd run speed stance because, in my opinion, speed's the most important stat. Most definitely not defense. Um, but, yeah, five speed can feel quite slow. Six speed feels better. You know, it's mildly better, but it's better. So, personally, I, I would probably run speed stance. Um, anyway, Cassidy, uh, fucking some some absolute cat shit stats. I feel sorry for all the Cassidy players out there. Realistically, you just want to run defense and get rid of some of that decks. It's just it's there for no reason. You're not getting anything on eight there, unless I'm mistaken. But there used to be things you could get like specific to Cassidy and her ludicrous amount of fucking decks. Um, but yeah, they they, they nerfed hammer. To, to, to oblivion so not anymore so i would probably just try and get rid of it as much as you can and go defense stance orion uh because fam, people will tell you oh if i like high decks it makes you feel faster if maybe if you're playing a legend who has quite actually one decks and then you're playing a 10 decks legend you'll feel the slightest of difference in your actual moves it the only thing decks will actually physically fucking help you with is true combos if it makes something true or not and and I just I, I, to the best of my knowledge, you get piss all on Cassidy for having this much deck. So yeah. Anyway, just to clear that up for the for the future minus deck stances. See now, Orion, this is a, a rare circumstance where you don't want to get rid of decks because having six decks on Spear gives you Sare into Endlight. True, which is in my opinion actually like a very useful combo, like extremely useful. And I know once you get higher on in the damage, you know later on in the in the stock. Set and like the set is going to send too far, and that's not going to be true, obviously. But you're hitting set a lot on spear, it's a very easy move to hit, and 90% of the time you're hitting it, it's to punish, um, like a grounded opponent, right? Yeah, it'll be in the air sometimes, but a lot of the time, it'll be punishing like a missed grounded move, and then you just you get an extra hit off of that end light, and then off of end light, you could get a read, and then if you get a read, you get fucking 800 damage and you win the game. I mean, that's just that's spear gameplay. So, personally, I'd, I'd <laughs> I don't know. I think, honestly, base stance on Orion is, is quite decent. Having 6 speed, 6 defense is insane. And then you're also meeting your, your deck threshold. 6 decks on spear. 
Um, Lance doesn't benefit at all from, from deck. So it, I would either run speed stance if you really do not care. It's either speed stance or base stance. I, If you're, I guess, being safe about it, base stance, but speed feels very good on spear and on Lance as well. So I, I would recommend you try out sp uh, speed stance. Rex. This is what I mean. Who the fuck plays this legend? Like, <laughs> yeah, just run and Dex, man. Just fucking do it. Uh, I mean, what takes off of Dex? Attack. It's going to either be you run attack stance so you can kill earlier, or you just say, fuck your attack. It's already low anyway and run defense stance. Because what are you going to be killing with? You're going to be Lance zero to deafing, which is going to kill anyway, no matter what, you know, stat line your attack is at. Um... Or you're going to be hitting D-Light Recovery on Blasters. Uh, any losing players out there know that it does not matter the amount of attack you have. Hitting D-Light Recovery on Blasters will fucking kill. But it will kill a lot earlier, I guess, if you did run attack stance. I, I don't know. I'd probably run strength, if I'm honest with you. Because free attack is, like, egregious. Um, but, I mean, defense is an option. It's just, yeah, I'd probably run attack. Nash. Uh... <sighs> You just get rid of Dex. Once again, just run defense stance. Two Dex is so optimal. This stat line is fucking ridiculous, by the way. You're killing early as piss because you have seven attack and hammer and spear. You, you're, and also high attack on spear actually is good because you're dealing even more fucking damage in those cutscene two combos. You catch a dodge, you get side light, D light, D light, sir, or side light, D light, D light, recovery, nah, anything. Um, and it's just doing even more damage. You know, you're, you're pushing like 76, 77 damage from, from that, which is ridiculous. Um, and then, yeah, you also have, as you can see, six fucking defense and seven speed as well. Like, Nash does not look like a seven speed legend, but he is, because he has no decks, and it's just optimal. So, most definitely defense stance. Nye, it's no question speed. It used to have to be, and this is the reason Nye was shit for so long, because you had to run deck stance to get um, two combos and katars, like the, the fucking necessary two combos and katars, you know, side light, D light, and side light, and light. Uh, but then they, they got rid of that dex requirement. All five decks does for you now is give you Nair into side light shoe on Qatar so you can get a three piece shoe combo. Um, but that you're not ever hitting Nair grounded if you have fucking two speed regardless. So it's absolutely not worth in any sense of the word. Just go speed, please. Because uh, on speed stance, Nair is actually like a fucking top five legend, I swear. Uh, this legend is criminal. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Just run speed stance. Anyway, Atori, speed. Pro oh, I lied. The six decks for, for Spear. I mean, I wish you could run nine speed, but... See, I wouldn't even... I don't know if I... It's either you run defense stance or just base. Personally, I'd run base because I think speed is the most important stat in the game. It helps you off stage, helps you on stage. You can punish things you otherwise wouldn't be able to punish. You can avoid things you otherwise wouldn't be able to avoid. And you really need to think about it in, in Brahalla, a game of like interactions, right? Being able to just, let's say you're on, you know, five speed or you're on nine speed, right? Five speed players getting hit, getting put in a fucking zero to death combo. They've lost their stock. You know, the nine speed player, he's just avoided it because he has more speed and, and punished. And, you know, instead of getting zero to death and losing their stock, they're, they're punishing and putting damage onto their opponent. Like, you know, it's a kind of made up scenario, obviously. But you see what I'm trying to say, right? Like in the long run, you're getting more out of it having speed. It's just that stat is more important than anything. I think defense is second. A close second, very close second, uh, and then attack is like third, but kind of far behind. And then Dex is just fucking cat shit. Just you don't need it. Um, so I probably run uh, yeah default default base stance. Um, if not strength stance, obviously. If you if you think you know I'm getting killed too early, then yeah, just switch to defense. Roland, I mean, you might you might as well just run defense stance. Go nine fucking defense, and you're unkillable. I don't think you understand. You know, you have Lance there. With nine defense, you really need to deep that. Alternatively, just run speed. It's one of those two. You ever go full tank or speed? I I would run speed though because full speed just feels awful. I, I think it's just so much more worth going speed. It's unfortunate it takes off a defense, but what can you do, man? Uh, Scarlet is most definitely speed, no question. Uh, what takes off a dex defense? You can either run speed or defense. I would one million percent choose speed. Scarlet stats are kind of cringe. They're low key kind of shit. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Speed stance for that one. Snake eyes. It's it's. I mean, oh, oh, fetch. Uh, yeah. It, come on. You're you're not running free defense and prospering in, especially in twos. Uh, and fetch is a very good twos engine. 
Uh, well, there's a lot of two sections who would be better if they had more defense. Jala being one as well. Uh, your Fatch and Jala would be at a fucking tip top of the twos meta. Uh, but they have too low of defense. So, yeah, you, you have to run defense stance. Ada, same thing, really. And also because it takes off a dex. The, 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 the game has left you with no choice here. Anything other than defense stance, you've lost your fucking mind. Sentinel. See, you used to have to run dex stance, okay? Which took off of defense. Which is really cringe. Because you could have the god stat line. This, this in my opinion, is the god stat line, okay? You see this? 7 defense, 7 speed. Uh, other, other legends that have it, Nyx, if you run uh, speed stance, obviously, which... We'll get on to that. Uh, and Kaya, too. Uh, wherever the fuck Kaya is. Uh, cringe legend. Yeah, base stance is just the god stat line, okay? Problem is, you lose Nair into Satellite True. Which is a free piece true combo, but... I just think it's worth. Um, yeah, man. I, you're getting two extra stats out of it if you think about it. Running decks, you're getting one true combo, but you're losing a point of speed and the point of defense, which are the two by far most important stats. So, I, prob probably speed. It is a tough decision. And obviously, I was Sentinel main. I don't know. It doesn't even show your level um, in training room. Didn't know that. But yeah, uh, I main Sentinel for, for a long time. Um, and so yeah, trust me, I've been I've been having a war with myself about that stance. Anyway, Lucian, see once again you could run strength to kill earlier, which which is honestly you probably should, uh, especially because you have katars, which is it's quite literally fucking impossible to kill on, uh, on katars. So if you get the kill and it doesn't actually kill, you're depressed, you're crying, you're bashing up your desk and 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 yeah, flipping tables. So just run strength stance, make that do that recovery kill earlier on blasters. And maybe some Katar Six will kill earlier. Anyway, yeah, Terrell's just get rid of the X and run speed stance. And then, yeah, you have fucking, once again, a god tier stat line. Eight attack, six defense, six speed. Just, the, you don't expect these fucking caveman legends, yeah, or caveman legends, uh, I should say. It, it's, you don't expect it, right? Look look at the stat line, please. Like, you expect Terrell to kind of have, like, like be a slow legend. Same with Nash, if you run um defense stance. But, but no, they're, they're not fucking slow at all. It's so... Anyway. Bryn. Probably defense, right? It takes off of attack. Yeah. Um, at the same time, though... Okay, you could run... If you really... If you feel like you really need Sair into Endlight on Spear, then you have to run Dex Dance, obviously. But Dex is not going to help out Axe in the slightest. So you, you, you probably just should get... I mean, at that point, just get rid of decks, I guess. Honestly, Bryn, you could, there's there's a lot to pick from. Um, other than speed, definitely not speed stance. But it's either you pick defense, which I would probably go for, personally. Or you sack off the speed for a true combo. I mean, six speed is still fine. Honestly, I'd run decks on to Bryn. Because, yeah, six speed is still, yeah, still completely fine, so... Oh, we're on second line. Hazuri, I run default stance. Like I said, a lot of people question that one. Um... But yeah, you have more than enough speed. I mean, you could get rid of Dex, sure. The, you can get an extra strength stat. Like, if getting rid of Dex... I don't know if I already said this. Am I going fucking insane? But if speed took off of Dex, I'd run speed stance. But it takes off of defense. It's just cringe and you have too little defense. Defense takes off of attack, so then you never kill. You already struggle so much to kill on this legend. Like, a ridiculous amount is fucking impossible. Other than that, the legend is like, you know, fucking like top, top, top tier. But killing... I, I, it's just piss poor so you don't want that and then yeah attack stance is it's one extra attack so you might as well just keep that true combo like i said earlier i it, fuck it you know i also think seven decks gives you it makes certain things in jumpable on katars like um recovery gcd light whereas it's it's jumpable on other legends i'm not sure but it, it helps out uh, most definitely on sword um, but no, it, it does. Uh, no, I can confidently say it helps with Katars. Okay. Recovery, recovery off the wall, I think is more consistently true on seven decks to you. So just, yeah, default stance is the way to go. And I've just scored it. Okay. Anyway, speed stance on Barraza, no question about it. Um, it's just it's too shit. Defense stance on Ember because free defense is not the play. Alternatively, you run speed stance. Both of these are viable. It, like I said, I would try out speed stance. And if you're getting killed too early and you feel like free defense is just not enough, Fuck it and, and go defense stance. But I, I personally, my first try would be with speed stance. Uh, Azov, 
Once again, it's Reedsons. So you see what I'm saying? This, this is the most important stat in the game. Uh, the, the, like, you don't even need to think twice, really. Koji, yeah. Uh, eight, eight decks does fuck all. So it's defense. A hundred percent of the time, it's defense on Koji. Thank God Koji has this much decks because he's already broken. Uh, you know, if he had a good stat line, I, I couldn't even begin to imagine. Now, this is what I mean about these caveman legends, fam. Orgrim, fucking... Nash and Terrell, so all the most brain dead fucking PS4 player legends of all time, and yet they have the best stats in the game. What the fuck is this? Seriously, it's really, it's, it's, it's it, if I had this stat line on Zuri, I would be the happiest, but I, well, maybe not actually. Two, two decks on, yeah, but you see what I'm saying though. This, this is a ridiculous stat line. It's, it's, yeah. Um, Diana, probably, probably defense, right? You don't really need to kill any. Well, Bo does struggle to kill. Once again, they have blasters, and I think four attack is just enough. Um, you could just get rid of Dex and then go speed. I probably would just go. Yeah, I'd run speed stance personally. I, I don't. I value speed a lot more than than defense and getting rid of that. Okay, because think about it like this, right? And for the entire rest of the video, think about it like this. Base stance Dex right now. You have a point in Dex which is fucking useless. Or you have six points in Dex which is useless. So anytime you can allocate you know a stat point into anything other than dex while getting rid of dex you're killing two birds with one stone which is what speed science does right you get the most important stat in the game and you transfer a point from the shittiest stat to the best stat so yeah speed uh maggie jala aka yeah it's it's defense and it's it's not a question um now, once again, another one that the game has told you, yes, this is the only stan uh, stance that's even remotely viable. Core, now, this it, this is the thing. I played Core for a long time as well. I don't know if you lot remember those days. Th that's when I started actually getting better at the game. That's when I started playing Core. Might be the first session I played that wasn't Scythe, in fact. Maybe, I don't know. That, that put me on my path to Azuri now. But yeah, um, fucking, it, it's, it's, it's an awful stat line, like, no matter what you do, once again, you're getting rid of Dex here, so it's kind of optimal, but it's added onto the uh, strength, and you're still left with 4 speed. 4 speed feels horrible, fam. But if you run speed, you're getting rid of defense, which is like the second most important stat. And you're still left with all this the Dex that's fucking used to, so it just... No matter what you're losing, really. I, I used to run speed stunts because I couldn't bear to have 4 speed. It felt awful, especially on Gaunts. Having high speed off stage is kind of important i know you have set to kind of bring you back to stage and you know give you some momentum off stage but it, it four speed is not the one for me uh wushang yeah wushang is, is good I, I i would probably run speed stance um alternatively you could run strength but once again it's just <sighs> strength is like if you're being really optimal but I, I you hate looking at your start line and seeing five defense five speed it just it's average but it just doesn't feel like enough uh, and when speed is taken off attack, it's like, it's kind of worth. It's between, obviously, strength and speed. I would also run speed. You're seeing, like, the theme here. Anyway, uh, Val, you're, you're just getting rid of Dex, simply. You run defense dance and you have the god stat line once again. This is this is a very common stat line in the game for some reason. 7 defense, 7 speed. Uh, and then, it's, it's always specifically this. 4 attack, 4 Dex, 7 defense, 7 speed. It's, it's really good. Uh, I would run that. Stance 100% uh, defense. Ragnar. Speed. No question. I, ugh, the thing is, yeah. Ragnar. Another legend I've named. First first legend I hit 2400 on. Um, yeah, it, you kill. You don't kill. You don't kill. I, I quit the session just because of how you will do 800 damage and the opponent will do 200 damage and they win the game. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? You, you do double your opponent's damage, but you lose. It, it, there's no worse feeling than that. But at the same time, man, like, it's either defense or speed. It's, I would go speed. You just have to, because you're killing late anyway. That one extra attack is not going to fucking save you. It rarely, maybe. Some, but it will. That's the thing. But like I said, a lot of the time you're playing Katars, you're getting them into black health, and then you get to finally start to kill anyway. Like anything at that point will kill on Katars. You see what I'm saying? It's just a rare instance where like you'll catch a dodge with end light on Katars and then go for the recovery, obviously, and it will just will barely not kill. And then you're like, oh fuck, I wish I had an extra attack. It, it, yeah, I don't know. But I would run speed. Anyway, cross. Uh yeah, but once again, there's 
it speed starts when you're left with three decks you don't need decks and blasters or, or gaunts and there you go um yeah I, there used to be something on gauntlets that if you had um six decks you could get through it was near into set, but yeah that's long gone now mirage mirage it's defense stance mirage's stats are like they, they are speared legend stats that's what mirage's stats are they're just spear legend stats because you have the high attack, right? Which, honestly, the, the high attack, it, it helps you, like, build damage on Scythe. Like, you get a Scythe string. Mirage is the cutscene legend as well, right? Where you, you catch a dodge, and then on Scythe, you're getting Nessa and Nessa. And then on Spear, you're getting, you know, Scythe, like, D-Light, D-Light, you, you, you lose your dodge to Mirage, you just fucking quit the game. Like, you, it's gone. You know, you're, you're taking damage. You can't do anything about it. You have to just watch it happen. So, you have all that attack for that to make them do even more damage and inflict more fucking emotional damage on you. And then high, you know, six stacks for for Sarah Knight on Spear. Um, probably just run defense though. I don't know why I'm waffling. Really, I, I could have just. Anyway, once again, gold stat line, run speed, not even close. Uh, Mordex. See, Mordex is either attack stance because it gets rid of decks which you don't need, and also it, another legend that really, really struggles to kill a lot of the time. Um, or you run defense. It's 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 up to you. Uh, I used to swap between them. <laughs> I can't lie. I, I could never. I made more decks for like a fucking year and a half. Um, uh, yeah, and I could literally never choose between them. It's just keep swapping, see which one you like more. It, it's strength or defense is what you want, though. Uh, you're not running anything else. Um, just one of them. Anyway, Yumiko, once again, a legend that's just kind of fucked over by a stat line. You just get rid of decks. That's all you can do. I mean, because. You know, you, you get you put on fucking defense stance, it takes off with attack, then you're left with free attack, then you're not killing. It, it's just it's a cringe that line. Yeah, just I would say just get rid of decks. It's it's the best thing you can do with it. Ugh, God, that was one mighty yawn. That's not even getting cut out either, fam. This, anyway. Artemis. Oh, the thing is an Artemis speed stance is actually like very viable. And it's what I would run. Scythe and Lance on 9 speed is there's no greater feeling. It feels like butter. Please, just try it, please. Uh, I, I run that whenever I play Artemis. Caspian, it's defense stance. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like 4 defense is too low once again. Alternatively, you could run speed. Um, but I, just, I don't like 4 defense, and I feel like 6 speed is enough for me personally. E even on Guitars and Gaunts, really. I, speed stance feels good, though. Um, it feels very good. And it takes off a Dex. Oh, fuck it. I'd say run speed stance. Just please. It, you, li listen, man. 90% of these legends, it's fucking speed, okay? Or it's just get rid of decks. Like, Sidra, just run defense stance. Any legend who, who, you know, has low decks, take off even more. If you have two decks, going to three decks is not going to help you. If you have four, going to five in 90% of the situations is not going to help you. You know, just fucking get rid of it at that point. You might as well. It's just there for, for clout. There's no reason for it to even be there. Because all you're taking off of um, attack and running speed without failure. Four speed is not enough. Kaya, once again, God stat line. I would run base personally. Or, because you, you can't even get, even if you run deck stance, you can't get the spirit you combo. Probably actually just run attack. Okay, yeah, run attack. Fuck it. In, once again. Yeah, yeah, strength stance on Kaya. Um, yeah, strength, definitely. Uh, Isaiah, it's going to be speed, isn't it? It's not, actually. Hmm. Wow, Isaiah's stats are actually kind of shit. I'll be real. Full speed, but then it leaves you with four attack. Uh, you have a good amount of defense. But it's just all that dex is there for no reason. Why is all that dex there? Six decks base. Why the, why the fuck does Isaiah have that? Why does he need that? This is actually the thing. BMG released a legend, right? And if, if, they, if it has high decks, it's a shit legend. Th this stat is fully ruining, like, <laughs> every single legend stat line. It, it's like, why the fuck would BMG ever create a legend and give them high decks? You see what I'm saying? When they made Isaiah, why, why did they give them high? It, it does nothing. The stat is quite literally so fucking useless. It's so bad. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it, yeah, wow, this video, it's really opened my eyes, man. Um, I guess you have to run speed. It, it'll feel awful, but it'll feel better than 4 speed anyway. Yeah, Jiro is uh, sorry, defense. 
No question. Three is just not enough in ones or twos. Once again, like I said. Okay, Queen Lai. Queen Lai, what the fuck? Lin Fei, your running deck stance, okay? I know it takes off a speed, but it has to be done. Like, like the stat line, it looks shit. I understand. But this is the thing. Dex is either awful or it's the best stat in the game. In this case, it's by far the best stat in the game. It gives you like a hundred different Katar Chu combos. It gives you recovery, recovery Chu, recovery D light Chu, uh, dare into D light Chu, dare into N light Chu. And the thing is with dare into N light and D light, it's um, you're getting that extra, you know, on any single Katar's engine, the, the string would end at dare and you'd have to get a read off of the dare. On Lin Fei, the dare into the D light is true. So every single read you get, you get one extra hit at the end that you wouldn't get on a different legend. Which might make up for the strength, but in fact, when you're reading off a D light, it's so much easier. So you just get, like, actually, I, I don't know, man, it's fucking insane. Uh, recovery, recovery off the wall true. Um, you get, like, a nair into recovery true as well, which you can also get nair into recovery, recovery true. You get, like, 3PC combos. You have the obvious on stage 3PC combos. You have, you know, uh, nair, side light, D light. Now it's like night, etc, 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 etc. You get a lot on nine decks. It's fully worth it. Canon, you get piss all. But on guitars, worth it. 100%. Anyway. And it actually, because like I said, it, when you have the difference of like, you're playing like a fucking five, four decks guitar legend and then a nine decks one, you can actually start to feel the difference e a tiny bit in how quick the moves, you know, end. And on guitars, which is already like, they're already a very mashy weapon. It, yeah, it, it gets cringe on nine decks. Like, guitars on nine decks are straight up broken, like, top two in the game. Um, Zariel. Yeah, you're just getting rid of decks, probably. Here. Oh. But you're not. You're not. You need to run speed. Because four speed is not enough. Once again, on a Gauntlet's Legend. On a Bow Legend, I feel like four speed is fine. But on a Gauntlet's, when you're off stage you're just killing yourself like you're, you're just falling to your death every single time off stage because you don't have enough speed to get back once again yeah you have gauntlet sarah to get back but like you're getting punished for <laughs> you're gonna gauntlet sarah into the wall directly into a fucking ground pound it's so obvious i don't know man i don't know i, I would run speed though uh rayman is probably best left on base um or just yeah no i lied get rid of x it does nothing it fully does nothing. Yeah, get rid of Dex 100% no Rayman. Just run speed stance. It's so perfect as all. Well. Wow, Rayman Starlight is actually fucking goaded. Um, what legend is this? Dusk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's strength. Oh, not strength. Sorry. Defense stance you want. Get rid of strength. You don't need seven decks. Obviously, you only need six. But then you're going to 7 attack. And you just don't need that either. So here you're, you're kind of forced to waste 2 points. You get rid of an attack point which would be helpful. And you're also keeping a dex point which is detrimental. But yeah. Defense stance is much better than just having 4 defenses. Not really enough. What does speed take off of? Yeah. No you can't run speed. Um, Where the fuck was I? Fate? Um, I don't even know, man. See, Fate is another one that you can actually run speed stance on. And Orb and Scythe on 8 speed, fam. You don't need that one extra point of defense. Once again, it's you just have to weigh up. Like, okay, here, if you run defense, yeah, you get one more defense. But then you're also keeping a point of deck you don't need and getting rid of a beneficial stat. So why not, instead... Keep that beneficial stat, get rid of a point of dex, and gain one stat in the best stat in the game, speed. And end up on 8 speed on fucking scythe. Yeah, this is this is by far the best sta uh, stance. And but, but I keep fam, I keep forgetting who these crossovers even are. Oh, 4. Yeah, I mean 4 is once again the speed stance. Uh, you're, you're close to the god stat line, but you're not quite there. One more in speed and you would be there, but... Yeah, this is without question, once again. I feel like fam, BMG know what they're doing lately. It's like at the start of the video, you know, that wasn't happening as much. But as we've gone on with these legend releases, I feel like BMG have started to realize, yeah, Dex is shit, speed is the best. And and like half these speed stances take off of Dex on legends that don't need Dex. Like I feel like they for sure know what they're doing, right? But yeah, you're you're running speed stance. It's once again no contest. See Petra. 
I mean, yeah, same thing, fam. For the, once again, it's four defense you can survive on, and especially you're not running defense dance when it brings your speed down to five. From when it could be seven while getting rid of a point of dex. You see what I'm saying? 100% speed stance. Vector, can you get the god stat line? Oh, you actually can as well. Hold on. Yeah, run defense. Volkov. See, Volkov is a legend. Fucking destroyed by his, uh, his stat lines. Okay, so. With dex. Hold on. Jiro, where the fuck is Jiro? Defense, yeah, I, okay. I already knew that didn't take off. Anyway. Wait, what about Fate? Has no decks, anyway. Yeah, okay, it's actually only Volkov that it matters on. So, on Volkov, right, you have eight decks. On seven decks plus on Scythe, you get Nersa as a true combo. Uh, which is which is actually quite helpful. Um, I won't lie. Issue is, um, you, you don't have enough. There's also, with that true combo, there's a speed requirement. I start to see why decks is... Fucking just... I, I, there's so many words I want to say. I'm not allowed to say. I'm getting demonetized, deplatformed, cancelled. But but next is fucking idiotic, okay? Because you also need a fucking speed. You, you need five speed plus to hit this while also having seven decks. It, the decks even alone isn't enough to give you a true combo. You need speed too. Jiro, you have enough speed and decks. You have a... Uh, yeah, look. You have loads of speed. You have loads of decks. Seven speed, seven decks. Volkov though, you have eight decks, four speed. You have to run speed stance to be able to get Nair true on Scythe and make use of your eight decks. But then you'll get rid of attack. And Volkov is, is much like Ragnar in the fact that you're not killing on this legend. Unless you kill early, you're not killing at all. Like, actually horrendous to kill on this legend. So, you can run speed to get that true combo. Alternatively, just get try and get rid of some of that decks and, and run strength. But it's really cringe, man. Volkov's stat line is just... Like, why would they release a legend with, with fucking eight decks? When they know it does nothing. Like, it does quite literally nothing. I don't know why they would release it. Anyway. Onyx's speed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, takes off the decks. <laughs> see, see how they just... They switched up real quick, you know. They fully did. Look. You get a... Uh, I don't know. BMG, they know what they're doing. Like I said, they released the shittest stat line legend in the game and then released Onyx where speed stance takes off the decks. And then you have fucking eight defense, six speed. It's Legends are, are broken and made by the, the stat line, I think. And BMG are in full control and in full power. And they know what they're doing too. Jay Yon, you're running speed. Mako, um, you're honestly running speed again. <laughs> Like, you can run defense, but why take off of speed if you can take off of dex, which you don't need? Like, you could run speed, uh, dex stance, actually. And, okay, I will say Mako is probably probably the most variable stance so far. We've gone over, right? Because dex stance will give you three-piece combo on Katars. Uh, Nair into sidelight D-Light or Nair into sidelight N-Light. Um... And I think five decks and guitars also, like I said, you can hit recovery, recovery, chew off the wall. I think that's when that starts. I don't know. Guitars are very inconsistent with, with some of the two combos. So you can do that and it only takes off of attack. Alternatively, you could be looking at your defense and thinking four defense is not enough for me. Run defense stance then. You'll still have seven speed, which is plenty. Alternatively, you could be like seven, you know, I don't need that three piece combo guitars and... Four defense is enough. You know, I've played plenty of four defense sessions in my time. Jiro, Jala, Fatch, etc, etc. I can, uh, you know, fuck it. And then you just, you run speed stance and have nine speed. I don't know. It's one of them, man. I don't know which one I would pick. I, I Probably I'm so used to Katars on five plus decks now that I would run deck stance. But if I wasn't, I'd just go speed. I don't think I'd ever run defense on some Mikoto. But it is definitely 100% viable. I mean, Mikey, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> 10 defense legend. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're running speed. You have to. Full speed is not enough. Um, I, well, okay. On a, You know what? It is actually enough. Is the thing. Because you're not moving. On a hammer great greatsword legend, you're not, you don't even need speed, really. But at the same time, it, it only takes off of attack. So you fuck, you, you might as well. 
I mean, yeah, Reno is oh, free. I don't know. This, this, this is a tricky one, actually. Another legend where they gave... Like, if you're going to give a legend high decks, do it on a legend where decks actually matters. Please stop releasing these legends with two weapons that aren't impacted by decks in any capacity and then giving them fucking a million decks. You either run strength stance or you or you run speed stance. I... Uh, Four attack on an orb, Blasters Legend is is horrific. Like, it's just bad. It's just bad. I'd, honestly, I... Reno start line is shit. I'm really deep in it. It's shit. Five speed for me is not enough, personally, at all. I mean, it's like a bare minimum. It's scraping bare minimum. But then you're left with free attack on, like I said, a Blasters Orb Legend, which you have kill confirms, yeah. But, but but they kill fucking late. I mean, Daylight Recovery kills very early on Blasters, obviously. But Silent Sarah and Orb doesn't kill to like 800 damage. So you're you're fucked. Uh, it's, it's a tricky one. I mean, I would trial speed stance. See if you have issues killing. I mean, you're going to, but, you know. And then if you do have too much of a problem and you're like, oh, I think if I had one more strength stance or two more. It's two more in strength is the thing. I don't know, man. I don't probably. You probably just have to. You have to run strength, and then just pray that it's enough speed. Really, I mean, yeah. What can you do, man? I. I mean, a lot of the time on blasters, you're just back dashing anyway. You're not really. No, moving on blasters is important. Is the thing. You really need to like get around your opponent and their dead zones and shit in neutral. Yeah. Re yeah. It, it, like I said, I. I probably would trial speed, and then. If you're thinking you're just you just don't have enough attack, try attack. And then if you're thinking, well, I'm still just killing, just as late as I was before, back to speed and then stick to that. Meaning, like, stop giving them so much dex, man. Just run speed stance once again. Eight speed both sides, fucking aids. Arcadia is, uh, yeah, th this is the gold stat line, but just backwards. Yeah, they did a number on Arcadia. I mean, you're getting rid of dex. Just run defense. You just have to firm the four speed. I mean, spear, great sword, four speed is like, it's doable. I guess. Um, I mean, you could run either, but once again, it's like you're weighing up the options. You're getting rid of attack here to get an extra speed point. I don't know, yeah, but you can just get rid of that one extra de uh, dex point that's doing nothing, and then get defense. I'd probably do that. Yeah, I'd probably run defense on Arcadio. Um, SEO. Still don't know why no one's playing this legend, but it's defense stance without doubt. Um, yeah, I, I don't think seven speed is really necessary. It just just run defense stance on Ezio, and that is it. How long is that video? I'm checking. Hold on. Thirty-eight minutes. I already don't know how I do it. To be fair, I thought it it might even last longer than this. I think thirty-eight minutes is kind of a W, potentially. But anyway, hopefully you lot have enjoyed. Hopefully you, I've helped you kind of decide your stance. If you didn't already know, of course. But I, I see some very interesting... Like, I'll be playing experimental on, like, a legend I never play. And I'll run the stance I think is best. And people are like, oh, I'm running fucking Dex. I, I've actually seen so many people in my comments recommend, like, Dex stance to me. On different legends. And I'm just... I'm like, you poor fucker. You're quite literally neutering yourself, fam. Like, you, you've just chopped your own balls off you and hopped into the rank. You, like... A lot of people don't understand how useless that 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 uh, stat is on ninety percent of weapons. Um, so I don't know, man. On Lance, I don't. Okay, I don't know if it's still the same or if they changed it. But uh, let me go back and and kind of you know rectify this Orgrim pick. Running deck stance can actually be the play because I think on four decks plus on Orgrim. You get um, D light into N light on jump ball on Lance. So I guess try it. Also, I just had a knock on my door. I'll come to my outro after I figure out why. Uh, it was just my girlfriend's 800th parcel of the week. Uh, women and Christmas uh, is a dangerous combo, I will say. Anyway, uh, hopefully, yeah, like I said, it's helped. And, and until next time, have a great day. I love you all. Thank you for all the support. And peace.